today on New Zealand Today. Nazi Scarecrow. A story that made the front page of the Taranaki Daily News. An anonymous local had complained about a scarecrow doing a Nazi salute. I went to the local council and they refused to talk to me. Cowards! Bunch of bloody cowards! Sorry. Sorry about that. So I went to the neighbours in search of the truth. Can you tell me about the man who was putting up the scarecrow? Was he a Nazi? No, he wasn't a Nazi. Well, was he dressed as a Nazi? No, he wasn't dressed as a Nazi. Could have been Are you trying Nazi. to cover up for the Nazi? No, no. Are you a Nazi? No, I'm not a Nazi. The neighbours were too scared to talk, so I hit the streets to find the people responsible and bring them to justice. There's a scarecrow in New Plymouth who's a Nazi, mate. Oh, sweet. No, 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 not sweet. Are you a Nazi? No. Where were you at during World War II? Still inside my dad's ball sack. No, oh, it wouldn't have been then. It would have been, like, premature great-great-grandfather <laughs> ball sack. A Nazi's not even scary, cos it's slap his body, eh, boys? <laughs> What do you think about World War II? Very ratchet. Was that when, was that when Hitler was in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so ratchet. So what are the big stories around town at the moment? Oh, oh Caden's the man. No. Is your name Caden? Yeah. Doing a bit of a joke there? Yeah, yeah. Like Cobra. Do you know Cobra? No, who's Cobra? Cobra shall see. Oh, anyone got that? Yeah, you got it, eh? Cos he's got a stink breath. <laughs> yeah. I approached the local dental centre about my bad breath. But they refused to comment also. Bloody cowards! After a quick bottle of Schindler's Listerine, I was back on the case. So does anyone have an idea of who this mysterious man who put this up is? Yes, his name was in the paper, but I don't know him personally. Adolf? No. The answer was right in front of me all along. I had a name, then an address. So I set off to track down the creators of the Nazi scarecrow face to face. Are you a Nazi, mate? No ways. What a Nazi would say, though, isn't it? <laughs> Take us through what happened out there. I mean, the kids were just playing in the, in the mud pile at the back, and we just decided to put a scarecrow up, and, um, yeah. The creators revealed that the scarecrow was built in a dabbing pose, but when the right arm fell, the scarecrow's terrifying Nazi agenda was revealed. Why are the Nazis doing dabs? I can't imagine Nazis doing dabs. They're just historically very uncool. No, nah, they, they used to do it when their marches, mate. They used to march along, but also, <laughs> you know, doing the dab. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, they got footage of it. Look at my dab. Look at my dab. Paul, are you a Nazi? No, I'm not a Nazi. What if I was to use computer technology to Photoshop a Hitler moustache onto your face? What if I move my face really fast so you can get it? What if I was to Photoshop onto you? Damn it! Damn it! Wow, they are good. So what can we do to um, fix the situation? Look, I don't think there's an issue with it, but just to remedy the issue, we could just lower the arm and bend it so it's clearly not doing a Nazi salute. Lower the arm? And then maybe if I help lower the arm, then I'd be a national hero? Clearly not. What do you mean, clearly not? <laughs> this was my chance to end the Nazi scarecrow's reign of terror and restore sanity to Taranaki. Move that down a little bit. The Nazi's reign of terror is over! Hurrah! Hey! No, stay back there. This is me. This is my time. <laughs> Finally, I was a hero. Guy Williams, New Zealand Today.